Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Karen Leland. I am a partner here at Four Lane, uh, and today we are going to go through budget creation. Okay. Uh, so, four units about Four Lane. Why do Why do you want to work with Four Lane? First off, we are a value added reseller for QuickBooks, NetSuite Zero, and Acumatica. So we can uh, right fit you in many different uh, softwares. Not only that, but we are experts in accounting and the software both. Okay, so you have both sides of that expertise uh, helping you uh, in your business. Okay, we are ERP consultants, but we do uh, dispel the myth that we are outgrowing QuickBooks. We want you to stay uh, in your systems for as long as possible. Okay, so we'll do a lot of workflows, a lot of trainings uh, on how we can both um, how we can maximize this system. And then lastly, we are strategic partners for change management. We want to empower your team, build in those efficiencies, those processes uh, for you. So what are we going to review today? We're going to review uh, setting up budgets. We're going to do it from the setup screen. We're going to create a new budget. What are the budget criteria? We're going to create a budget from previous year's data. And then finally, look at the reporting for those budgets. Just a quick uh, review, uh, future courses. Next week, we will go over database review. Then what story is your balance sheet telling you? Tech services and pick, pack, and ship. Okay. If there is any particular uh, topic that you would like to learn, please uh, email in uh, to Forling. We are happy to add those to the topic list also throughout this webinar. If you do have any questions, go ahead and put those into the uh, question box, and I'm more than happy to address them as I can, okay? So, here is our uh, QuickBooks Enterprise file, okay? As it stands right now, we have the home page. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to Company Settings right now, Planning and Budgeting, Setting Up Budgets, okay? Now, I do have a budget uh, for 2024 in here. This is demo files, so which does have limited data in it. Um, but what we can do is let me show you a couple of new uh, pieces to it, okay? So what happens if we don't wanna look at our older data, we wanna create a new budget. We can come up here to create new budget. You can have the specific years, right? You could do budget type profit and loss or the balance sheet. You can also add your budgets, budget as a whole for the company, the customer job, or the class. So if you wanted to do budgets by job, job costing, things like that, if you wanted to do it by the class or whatever that case may be, we can look at those budgets and then budgets versus actuals for those pieces, okay? So let me just show you the budget by class. Now you can create it from scratch or from previous year. So the first time we're gonna do this, let's go through it from scratch, okay? So you'll see that there's a drop down here. I have two classes in the file, right? Our plant location four and then our test class, okay? So we have a drop down, one budget for each of these pieces. Now, once you put in the budget numbers, you can copy it across you could go in and adjust it either way. So let's put in just some numbers. We're just gonna copy it across. Okay, so we could click on those, copy across, and then even after you copy it across, we could go in and, well, May is a slow month, our payroll might be $200 because a lot of people take vacations, right? Whatever the case may be, we can come in here uh, and make any adjustments, okay? So I wanna save this. And uh, then after you save it, wanna come up to the class if you wanted to enter a different budget for our test class, we could go ahead and do that. Maybe their test class is a lot smaller. We're gonna go ahead and copy that across. Okay, so once I press OK, I always like to show the reporting pieces of it, okay? We can do our budgets 
versus actuals, you'll see that I just created this profit and loss by account in by class. Okay. So you can have different report layouts. You can have accounts by class, accounts by month, or classes by month. So you will see that I've picked the entire year for the classes. So plant location one and then test classes here, and then of course total. It'll have our actual data for the year, our budgeted data, our dollar amount over budget, and then our percentage over budget. Okay. And of course, we could come up here and customize if we did not want to see the percentage or difference or, uh, you know, whatever that case may be. Okay. We can also come in here, planning and budgeting, we'll set up our budgets. All right. So the first thing, it defaults to the last budget that you worked on. Okay, so we just created this budget for our current classes. We can come in here and make adjustments at any time. Okay, anytime we want to come in here and make adjustments, adjust rows, copy across, whatever the case may be, we can. But what happens if we want to create a budget? Let's say no additional criteria based on our current year's data. Okay, so it will take the current year's profit and loss data and then make that the budget for the next year okay so but let's say we want to have we want to double our revenue so i'm going to take our sales account let's double it and of course i could take that and then copy it across or make any adjustments as i see fit okay so we can take that budget information look at our current actual information create that or create them from scratch we could do that by uh, class by project, whatever that case may be. So let's go back to our reports for a little bit. Okay. So if we come over here to budgets and forecasts, we have a couple of different options here. Our budget overview is going to bring us back to this screen that looks exactly like uh, setting up those budgets in the first place. Okay. So now we have our budget overview. Um, this is only the budget piece. It does not have any actuals from the file in this uh, report here. Okay. So if we wanted to see that, we can come down here to the budgets versus actuals. Of course, pick what budget we would like to take a look at. Press next. Finish. So now each month or each uh, period that we ask it to, we have the actuals, the budgets, the over dollar amount and percentage. Okay. We can show these columns um, by any different time period for this report. Okay. If we come up to customize, you can, again, display columns by the different time periods, actual differences. You will see that it does not have the option within this report. Once you say to build it by date, it doesn't have the option to add the classes. Okay. So if you wanted that to happen, we would have to go back into this report, switch it to class, right? Next, I want the layout to be account by class, okay? So now it shows all of those consolidated dates, but it has the different classes, and then of course your total over there, but same information, right? Your actuals, your budget, your over budget, and your percentage, okay? But each time that you want to run this, right, if we come back up here to customize, now that we're displaying by class, now there isn't the option for the customers or jobs, we would have to go through and run that report again and show and ask QuickBooks to run it in that specific manner, okay? The other report for budgets versus actuals, we have a graph. Graphs are nice. QuickBooks is black and white all day. All day, every day. Okay. PL by accounts, PL by jobs, okay, or by classes up here up at the top. Okay. So it will show the uh all of those pieces in graph form if we would like it to. Uh favorable and unfavorable, actual versus budget, favorable and favorable, it 
favorable and unfavorable is just the dollar amount difference, right? Did we save money? Did we lose money? But it's looking at it as a whole, you'll see that it is not split up uh, income versus expenses. It is just the budget as a whole. Okay. Accounts and then by the accounts. Okay, so this top one is always favorable and then unfavorable. The bottom is actual versus budget. Okay, it's nice to look at colors sometimes. Okay. Our last piece in here is the budget by performance. Okay, so this is the only report on the same screen on the same page. We'll have your actuals for the month, your budget, the uh, January through June actuals, the year-to-date budget, and then your annual budget. So I know that some people at the end of the month, uh, maybe you have shareholders, maybe for yourself, uh, CFO, whatever that case may be, wants to look at all of these columns at the same time. If that is the case, you are looking for the uh, budget performance report okay and then of course we could go in and uh, customize and group by these those different time pieces that we have okay uh, the question we do have a question here thank you uh, for a question where did you click to see the graph reports we went to reports budgets and forecasts and then budgets versus actual graphs. Okay. If I click on this, this will bring up all of these uh, colors, all of these bar graphs. You can change the dates, and this is where you could change quickly through the accounts versus the accounts and jobs versus the classes. Okay. And thank you for the question. And does anyone else have any questions? Okay, so there is a feature a little bit off of budgets uh, that is in here that you're going to see in our QuickBooks. First, let me close all the windows. Okay, if we come over here to the company, put, you can set up a forecast. Okay, so one thing about this forecast, this forecast is not calculating anything, but it will give you the ability to uh, use any of these reports very similar to the budgets uh, looking in the future. Maybe it's a different metric. Maybe uh, budgets has a 10% goal, but forecasts maybe we wanted a 30% goal. Whatever the case may be, okay? You can create a new forecast. Same thing, customers versus jobs or classes. Next, copy across the roll, across the rows, adjust budgets amounts. Um, but just, be aware that it is not actually taking your actuals. It is not actually projecting anything into uh, that future. Okay. And if we come down here, you have the forecast overview, very similar to our budgets. That shows these, this $1 all the way across is what we have forecasted, right? And then the forecast versus actual, which is going to look remarkably similar to the budgets versus actuals. Okay, so if you wanted to run two different types of numbers in the uh, QuickBooks file, you absolutely can. Okay. Uh, looks like so we have a couple of questions in here, which is great. Keep them coming, guys. I love this. Um, are there budgets for the balance sheet? Okay, yes, there's absolutely budgets for the balance sheet. If you come into the, let's go back into setting up the budgets, create a new one, that budget type, you could do the profit and loss or the balance sheet, okay? Now, just keep in mind that if you do the budget sheet, the budget type for the balance sheet, it will not give you the difference over time. It will only do the budget for the ending balance, okay? So it is the ending balance, uh, similar to what your balance sheet uh, does now. Uh, just kind of be aware of that when you are creating a budget, it would be the ending balance, not the activity in it. Okay. 
Um, there is another question. Is there a report that combines the actuals with budgets for the rest of the year? Yes, what we could do for that, if we come in here, budgets versus actuals, we just get to that report. We have it for the, uh, I just put it for the entire year. We could show month over month. You can change this to, let's say, fiscal year to date. We can change this to all of these different pieces. However it is that you would want to set up your budget, we can then run that exact uh, same opposite report for the budgets versus actuals for each of those periods, okay? The, another piece to that, just in case you're curious, the budget performance report though, shows the June budget, the June actual, the June budget, the January through June, the entire year, year to date budget, and then the entire thing as a whole. Now, if you wanted from July to December, you might have to do a little bit of math, but at least all the information is here. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, do that. Okay. Uh, more uh, questions. I love this. Bring all the questions. Uh, next, is there a cash flow budget report? No, there's not really a cash flow budget report. It really relies on the profit and loss and then the balance sheets. And how do we want to look at that uh, profit and loss pieces? Now, within these reports, you can switch basis from accrual to cash basis, but there is not a actual cash flow budget report. Okay. Uh, another question that we have here is how do you advise that we use classes? It really depends on your business. Okay. I like to think of classes like a Macy's department store. Right. We have a women's department and we have a men's department and both departments sell pants. OK, so that pants income, pants cost of goods sold. You can view side by side. You can view side by side the entire profit and loss for the men's department and the women's department. OK, so that being said, you really have to look at your business and say, how do we want to use those classes so you can get the most information out of it? So if you imagine going back to that Macy's department store, women's department might have a different budget number, right? A different P&L actual and a different budget number uh, than the men's department would, especially for those pants. OK. Uh, it looks like that's all of the questions that we have for today. I want to thank you for uh, asking those questions. That really makes it an exciting webinar when we have some back and forth. So don't forget budgets versus actuals, adding those budgets. We can do it by the classes, by the customers, or as a company as a whole. Okay, you could do the profit and loss or the balance sheet. Just keep in mind that that balance sheet is the ending balances only. It is not the uh, time period that we have. All right, I thank you everyone so much for attending. Uh, yeah, so one last quick question made it under the wire. Can I import the budget? Uh, you, there is an importer for the budget if you use an IAF tool. Uh, within QuickBooks Enterprise, there is the uh, importing of IAFs. That is the only way uh, that you can uh, import the budget at this time. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, uh, for attending. I enjoyed it so much. Just a quick recap of what we have coming up. Next week is the database review. And then what story is your balance sheet telling you? We have tech services and then the pick, pack and ship. Okay. If there's any other topic, anything that you would like to learn, uh, please go ahead and email us then and we would love to take your questions. Okay. Thank you so much.